I found modifiers in our 2022 ICD-10 coding guidelines. Let me show you. Have you ever noticed the colons in the ICD-10 book? These colons are used in the tabular list after the incomplete term in which it needs one or more modifiers following the colon to make it an assignable and given category. I didn't know we had modifiers and I didn't know we had colons and I've looked all over for these colons. They're not like the colons that are in the CPT book after the descriptor that you highlight to note the differences between the CPT codes. Oh no, and they're not even like what they have pictured right there either. I'll show you, hold on. So the guidelines show us this, but What we're looking for are these huge, humongous, freaking colons. That, right there. So, what this means is that polyuria, number one, cannot be coded first because you don't get polyuria for no reason. You get it usually because of an enlarged prostate. Enlarged prostate will be your first diagnosis. You cannot use polyuria simply for a diagnosis even if you're going to do it as the second. You need to make sure you identify which polyuria you have. Is it nocturnal nighttime ureses? You need to use this code or is it an other polyuria that is not nonspecific? You can use these two codes as your second diagnosis as polyuria but you should not be using that one. Those are some big colons right there, let me tell you. They don't look anything like what's in the guideline, and they should note them as a symbol that looks like the symbol that they're giving you. Um, and calling it a modifier, uh, that's getting a little crazy when you've got CPT modifiers, which mean a totally different thing. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. Please click the link in my bio. Um, to get a copy of my 2022 notes when I'm done with them. Um, Y'all are going to be blown away by the new data that's going to be in them this year since last year, and I'm typing them all, so you won't have to read my handwriting. Let me know if you'd like to see anything else.